Good morning, how are you doing? Dylan Gallagher here. It's been a bit of a heavy week, so I've decided to pick a bit of a lighter topic. And uh, once you see the screenshot, hopefully it'll make sense. So here's what I'm, what I'm, what I, what I'm going to be talking about today. Taco Bell customers are complaining that its newest menu item looks nothing like how it was advertised. Now, how many times has this happened? How many times has, um, have you gone to a business? Have you been wooed by advertising or a commercial or some piece of marketing that had you think, you know what, I want to try that product or that service? Now, food's an easy one to pick on because I think we all intellectually know that the, the marketing we're seeing for food is nothing like what it appears to be once it hits our plate. And I think that this Taco Bell article kind of kind of highlights that, but I think it does speak to a bigger point. And certainly I know as an entrepreneur, as a guy running a business trying to help people, there is uh, a certain expectation I have about the level of service or quality that I deliver um, and I'm hopeful that it comes across but you know I'm, you know, a lot of times it just doesn't and I think that we can fool ourselves into thinking that we've got something that uh, presents a lot differently than how it's actually being received by the end user being our customer or our client and so today it just got me thinking you know what about your business are you you know in your mind does your business appear to be way more awesome than it actually is with customers is you know things like let's take a basic one like communication communication is key um, you know in all my years a couple of decades one thing I've learned for sure whether you're working with staff or customers or people you owe money to or bankers or investors um, is communication communication is key because we tend to think that these things that roll around in our mind you know as, as business owners or managers or entrepreneurs that somehow that they're correct and it's not until you get them out into airspace and actually vocalize them that you can determine whether or not they are in fact real and start fixing them. So communication is always key. So how about your business? How does it communicate with clients or customers? Is it really, a really, really good communicator? Or is the business generally you know, not that good of a communicator? When it comes to delivering the level of service, you know, I often think of a commercial um, for companies that were doing, uh, a company in our city that was doing window installs and kind of their big thing when they were doing advertising was talking about these little booties they would wear on their feet so that they wouldn't ruin the customer's floor, their carpet or whatever while they were doing their work. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, did the booties do something? Maybe, but to the customer it was everything because to them, preserving their floor um, or their home was, was something that was high on their list. And so this, this particular company found a way to use that uh, in their marketing and ended up delivering on it. So every time the customer opened the front door and these folks showed up, they always had these little booties on. Um, so anyway, just was looking at this hilarious picture of, you know, fast food. You know, part of me thinks it's funny that people would expect anything out of fast food to look like what it looks like in marketing and advertising pieces. But I think it does kind of underline a really important point that if you're holding... Um, if you're running a business and you're holding it out to the marketplace to be something or to have it do something a certain way, then is it actually doing that? And is it being received in the marketplace the way you're trying to put it out there? And uh, so you should may want to take an inventory of that as you're moving around your business today, as you're interacting with customers and, and vendors and, and uh, bankers and investors and that sort of thing that maybe you just stop to say, okay, these words that I'm using right now and how I'm explaining my business doesn't line up with with what people are actually experiencing. And sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you gotta do surveys. Sometimes you gotta get some feedback. Sometimes you have to do contests to try and get some user feedback um, or client or customer feedback. But that stuff kind of proves valuable because at the end of the day, people, you know, we're humans. We like stories. We like narratives. We like to feel like we're a part of something. And oftentimes that gets created um, inadvertently or advert advertently. I don't think that's even a word. So inadvertently or intentionally um, by the level of service that you, that you deliver. And so if in your mind, as the entrepreneur, you think you deliver at a 10, chances are you're probably delivering at a six or a seven. And I'm not trying to be a wet towel. I think that's just a reality. I certainly am guilty of it. And so I'm not projecting that onto you if you're, if you're watching this and feeling guilty, but, um, but it's the truth. And as, you know, as, you know, as business owners and folks responsible for businesses, this is something that should be on top of our list. So anyway, hope you have a great Thursday. I will be back here uh, again tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and um, look forward to connecting.